Tapi Perk is away. Copy, transom. Zero rep. Yep. Zero reps. Check, check, check. Atlanta off the deck. And water. What's this uh, ground fault on uh, Argus here? Can you uh, turn off the aft thruster? On Argus? Yeah. At Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> That's a new one. Phase A, last, the last time. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Happy? Well, no. <laughs> Happy enough to dive? Yes. Great. <laughs> I asked the right question. Back to one thruster. Okay. Ah, uh, Roger. Still a thruster issue. Okay, we got our beacons on. Both vehicles are tracking. This is an audio slate for a dive hotel 1951. Just 10 UTC time is 2014 46. 2015 mark. Mark.
I'm messing with them up there. <laughs> I Listen, I'm happy to switch to another KVM switch, but I don't know which one I should be on. Thrusters grounded again. Go ahead, Bridge. No, I know. Uh, right away. Right I was looking for Psy Pilots, but stand by, Bridge. Pilots, can we hold position here? Sure. Bridge, Bridge, uh, we can hold position. Thank I'm you. I'm going to need help. <coughs> Spicy. We want some sonar. Where's the start button up here? It's the little green button up on the left. Right there. That, yeah. You gotta get it right on it though. And then click it? Or yeah. click the button? You gotta hit, that's the mouse it, yeah. You have to, okay. Mouse button, uh, the, over here. This button. Oh. There we go. The pilot cam is on. The uh, third rear cam is not on. We have five zero, TJ. Five zero for the Argus. Yeah, five zero for ours. We're at four five no. Okay. Oh, we're at four five. We're at four five. Yeah. Redder, thanks. Oh, a nice siphon four. Stopped at five zero meters. Copy that, five zero, taking it from here. Uh, sending control. Down we go. Oh, okay, uh, from row, uh, Samantha, Robert, TJ. Yeah, thanks for being with us today. Uh, so after you finish here, guys, uh, we're going to hold position for about 30 minutes to do some testing. Here? Okay. Here? Yep. At oh, 50 zero meters? Yeah, uh, okay. okay, I'll stop. Or 60, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're at 53 meters right now. Oh, perfect. Well, no, yeah, perfect. So we're at 62. With yeah, that's, that's fine. That's Herc, fine. Oh, Herc, Herc, 62, yeah. We have reading the test. Is this okay to log in the test or do you want more information?
this fifth um, random node success pick. Okay, yeah, of course. So that's, that's probably best. Let's pick a lot. Let's take the packets as a double product. Okay, sounds great. There is something very, very, very important that I'm going to tell you very specifically. Okay, vale, gracias. Who's the culprit? Oh, what is not showing up nicely? The camera is not showing us nicely. Also. Uh, can I have uh, Atalanta uh, look at Hercules, please? Atalanta look at Hercules? Yep. Um, that's up to you, Rob. Uh, I can't. As, as close up as you it can. It might be tough at this depth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a tricky one. Yeah. No. no so we're going to be right behind uh, and cut cuts uh, side of the laser shooting down from the back of the of Hercules. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Maybe now's a good time because there's okay. trying to move at the water. The water may be a little bit too turbid. We can all right, okay. this Thanks. a little deeper, but uh, try here, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ship stop.
you go on ahead. Yeah, but we can maybe do this deeper. Uh, seems like there's too much uh, backscattering here. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I, I can't even see anything here, I think. Well, I'm, I haven't gotten in position yet, so... Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'll, I'll wait yeah, for you to, to be in position, and if we yeah. don't see anything... We, yeah, thanks. We're quite a ways away, so... Oh, okay, okay. I have to... We're stretched out when we go up and down, and we have to get under for the... to be able to observe. Ah, good, good. F f for those at home listening, uh, uh, both ROVs are tethered by a line, and we're trying to to document the, the laser as it's... Uh, analyzing all these particulates that you can see in the screen. Uh, those are made of organic matter and the laser can scan them and can measure them. So we're trying to verify uh, and get a nice uh, visual uh, documentation that this is the case actually. So stay tuned. Nice salp. You pointed down? Yeah, I'm pointed down. He's ready to move when I see it. And are you pointed at me? I'm looking for you. Uh, I'm behind you. I'm wide, I'm wide zoom. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm behind you though. Uh, there you are. There you are. It's starting to coming to view and But we want to be looking the other way. Yeah, yeah. we want to be looking, if you can get in the horizontal plane. Uh, you want to look at the... But, but yes, it's in the, it's in the, on the top of the image here. So I'm going to flip around. In the meantime, I'm happy to report that uh, the instrument stays on, it works. Uh, we're getting uh, same signals as we got the other day, which means that the instrument is still robust and, and healthy and stable, which is great news. Okay, I'm gonna come up a bit here. Yeah. Follow you up. Okay, so, so we're shooting the laser now, uh, and maybe maybe we're lucky and uh, don't quite see it there in... We see it in our camera, but can't quite see it here. Yeah, and we thought the laser was powerful enough, but uh, <laughs> I guess not. Uh, the good news is that we're still getting readings here, and the the same data that we got uh, the last dive, uh, which shows, uh, of course, water, uh, no surprise there, but we also see um, organic matter, which is what you see in the screen here, white marine snow, and uh, we see sulfate, uh, which is one of the components of uh, seawater, uh, sulfate ions. So, uh, Physics still work. Uh. And um, hey, Pablo, can you talk more about the um, Raman spectrometer for our audience? Y 
Yes, uh, I will. I will uh, give maybe a, a longer explanation on the way down uh, as okay. we go down. Uh, let's just finish this here, and uh, and then we can explain all of this. Uh, awesome. Yeah, good. Good call. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, pilots. Uh, I, I think uh, what we think is happening is that your refresh rate in your cameras is faster than our laser is shooting, and that way, that's why you don't catch in any any of the lasers. So, uh, so I think uh, we're not going to be able to to get this nice uh, document. Huh? Okay. And we're ready to oh, commence descent at your leisure. Okay. I'm going to come back into the trailing position here. Yeah. I missed that. What are we doing now, Robert? I'm just coming back around to be stretched out. You don't need to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to try and look at me. I'm just going to get back in the position here. So we are now descending. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. The cameras are too good. <laughs> That's a good thing. Okay, you can take it off auto head. It's auto head enough. And you can start down. Start coming down. All stations starting paying out in Atlanta. Happy. Okay, so so maybe it's a it's a good time now to uh, to reintroduce the the laser uh, instrument that we are testing here today. So uh, if you didn't uh, catch us uh, in the first dive a few days ago, uh, uh, I'll introduce my team here: uh, Kevin Sack from University of Washington uh, APL, and myself, Pablo Sobron from uh, Seri Institute and Impossible Sensing. So um, we're here in this cruise uh, to test a new uh, new technology uh, that is hopefully going to uh, improve and enhance the way we explore the oceans. So what we have done is we have uh, put together a, a very complex yet powerful uh, uh, instrument that is able to measure uh, several things. Uh, the two most important ones are the organic content of uh, water. Uh, so this is the marine snow that you see right now in the, in the screen. Uh, we are shooting at it as we speak. And we're getting uh, readings of how much uh, organic matter uh, is as a function of depth. Uh, so we're using a Raman spectroscopy uh, for this uh, part of the measurements. With Raman, um, we are exciting uh, water uh, with a laser. And some of these photons from the laser uh, are being uh, bounced back to us uh, at a different color, slightly different frequency energy than the one we shoot from. And by looking at the difference between the, the energy of the photons coming back to us uh, relative to the photons that we excited the sample with uh, from our laser, we can measure uh, how much of each molecule uh, is in the water. And this is why uh, we're seeing here now uh, sulfate, as I said before, seeing organic carbon, and of course seeing the water peaks uh, here uh, as it's showing in the, in the spectrum. So uh, nothing new here. Uh, this is just a verification that this technique works very well underwater. Although it is the first time uh, uh, that this technique is being used uh, as a remote sensing tool. Uh, we're measuring wow. at about three meters right now. So we're measuring all the organic content in a, in a slice of ocean um, three meters wide. Uh, next to our Raman uh, instrument, we have a fluorescence spectrometer. And uh, what this instrument is doing is looking at uh, how biomolecules um, and how minerals uh, absorb light 
and re-emit it uh, at different wavelengths. And this is a known phenomenon that if you've seen it, you've been to a museum where they have rocks, uh, you can see how you glow uh, with uh, some light, ultraviolet typically, into a sample. You turn the lights off and your rocks will glow pink, yellow, purple, blue, uh, all the colors. So this is essentially what we're doing here. We're seeing glow-in-the-dark particles um, uh, in the water that are telling us uh, what these organic compounds are uh, in the water column. And of course we're doing this now as we're going down in the water, but as soon as we hit the bottom, um, we're going to start doing uh, analysis of rocks and sediments uh, down there. And I think this is the, the revolution, revolutionary aspect of this technology is that uh, uh, can, for the first time, uh, help uh, scientists understand uh, uh, what the rocks are made of. Uh, uh, typically, uh, they've been using cameras, right? Uh, the cameras that you see here, and you'll be able to see in a few minutes when we touch bottom, you'll be able to see uh, how these rocks look like on the, on the RGB cameras, on the video cameras, but that's typically not enough for them to determine uh, what these rocks are made of. So to help them, we are bringing this technique here, uh, and this will be able to, using the same principles that we uh, are using in the water column that I just explained, it will be able to uh, measure uh, what the minerals are made of, uh, where the rocks are made of, uh, and in including corals, if there's any today, we can see the pigments that these corals will show here. So it is a, a new way, uh, uh, really, to, to explore the seafloor uh, that brings the lab to the seafloor for the first time so that we can do geochemistry and, wow. and certain types of biochemistry as well as we explore the ocean. And as you can imagine, the implications of this are that we uh, will be able to not have to sample as much um, uh, uh, as we, as we uh, explore the ocean uh, because we can do in situ uh, measurements in real time. We know the composition of these rocks as we as we uh, are uh, down in the bottom. So um, uh, you know a little bit of the origins of this uh, technology. Uh, in fact, we started building this for space. Uh, believe it or not, uh, NASA is invested uh, investing uh, very heavily in in technology to explore the oceans because uh, we know now that there are moons in Jupiter, Saturn, that have oceans of liquid water much like our salty water here. And we think that these oceans may be uh, one of the clues, one of the keys to understand if life could have started elsewhere in the, in the solar system. So, uh, so we are now building or, or developing missions that one day will land on the moons of uh, Jupiter, like Europa, for example, or Saturn, like Enceladus, melt their way down into, through the ice crust and reach the water and eventually deploy submersibles. That the one we have uh, here today to look for perhaps uh, evidence of life uh, in those oceans. So, of course, uh, I was very lucky to, to start getting in touch with the ocean community in our own planet as we test this technology um, uh, moving forward toward, towards flight. And, uh, and I want to acknowledge uh, Beyond NASA, uh, of course, who sponsored the building of this, uh, this technology. I want to acknowledge uh, uh, another agency of government, uh, which is the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, and in particular the Marine Mineral Program, um, which is very interested in scanning the seafloor and looking for marine mineral resources that we can one day uh, develop to speed up electrification. Uh, as you know, uh, all the things that batteries, panels, turbines uh, need uh, are these rare earth elements and, and metals. And we're trying to, uh, to find those in the seafloor as well to, to speed up uh, production of these renewable energy systems. So BOEM uh, uh, believed in this technology even before it was finished and, and, and co-sponsored this, this program. And uh, then second acknowledgement is going to go uh, today to, to my very good friend, uh, Professor Leonardo uh, Mazzeloni from the uh, University of Southern Mississippi, who was one of these early believers as well. Uh, and, and through Leo, we got in contact with the uh, Ocean Exploration uh, Consortium uh, or Cooperative Institute, uh, rather. Uh, this is the NOAA Institute that is supporting this expedition. And through uh, Adam Sewell, uh, chief scientist and director of the program, we connected with the Ocean Exploration Trust, uh, the owner of this uh, boat uh, where we are today. And that's how we got here. Uh, all this connection between space and, and oceans uh, now is really, really coming together. And we find ourselves uh, with a unique opportunity to demonstrate our technology on a marine expedition uh, to explore uh, areas of the Pacific Ocean that aren't explored. Uh, so we're really, really doing our job of, uh, of, of pushing the frontiers of, uh, of ocean knowledge uh, here on Earth and in other planets. Uh, so thank you uh, guys for your support on this. 
and I think uh, the team is really, really excited to to be able to show uh, uh, you know, the amazing science that we can do today on this expedition. Wow, that's amazing. So I am curious. Um, so after um, the testing of the technology here on the EV Nautilus, will this technology be available to other exploration vessels or? I think Ah, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, awesome. Sorry. You know, uh, with all my excitement, I touched the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so uh, as I was saying, um, uh, yes, so uh, this this first... Uh, yep. Paolo. I'm being called oh, by. Sorry, I'm in front. Um, we, uh, we identified a ground fault and Robert's been going through, we're actually at all stop right now. Robert's been going through everything on the vehicles. Um, and I think there's some concern that it might be the spectrometer. Uh, hold on one second. You can go ahead and shut off power. Yep. Okay, it looks like we do have a ground fault on your instrument and we're going to have to recover. Got that? Okay. Science, did you guys copy that? Start up. Copy. Yeah, copy that. Okay. Roger. I didn't copy. Can you say again? Uh, yeah, there's a hard or a ground fault identified on uh, the spectrometer. So Robert's suggesting that we recover the vehicles and identify that issue. Roger. Okay, I will let the bridge know. Uh, Deck chief was just here, but uh, he's just oh. gonna get ready. Get Great. The key or whatever. Perfect. So can we get um, an explanation about what's currently happening? I don't, I don't know the, what's the protocol here? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, the, the simplest version is, is that there's um, a ground flight identified on uh, the ROV, and so Robert went through all of the different cameras and instruments that could have been um, uh, kind of sending that alert out um, right. in a system, and it was identified that it was um, something related to the spectrometer or the Ethernet bottle where it's connected. Okay. Um, it's not, yeah, it's not, not Ethernet. Not the, it's okay, not so, so it's spectrometer. isolated to the spectrometer. Okay. We should probably mention what a ground fault is. Right. So yeah, this, sure. uh, the yeah. whole ROV, lots of it, of the stuff on there is powered by electricity, mm -hmm. and of course, electricity and water are tough to to deal with. There's lots of little connectors that are isolated from the water, but sometimes some water can get in somewhere oh, and create okay. a, uh, a fault in the electrical system or a ground. Thank you. 
Would it be possible to verify that by just turning our system yep, on and seeing the ground clock go? Because we should back actually on. be isolated the way it's designed. Takes a bit of time for it to register. Confirmed. Ground on the run. Okay, so confirm when we're coming up. I'm I'm heaving in. If it was my instrument, I would. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, okay, I will let the bridge know. And what speed are yep. we coming up at, Robert? Hello. Dave, yet? Uh, yeah. uh, depth was uh, 209 okay. meters. Bridge, Nav. Uh, we'll actually need to recover the vehicles. Um, if you could let us know when the captain's on the bridge, it will be in the next uh, 10 minutes. We'll be on service in about five minutes. Uh, less than that. Thank you. So I've confirmed that twice now, so it's for sure. Okay. for everyone tuning in um thank you so much for joining us right now we are waiting to recover both vehicles uh we are in the northwest of kingman reef um at an unnamed seamount so um stay tuned so what's interesting about uh, this region is that um, this region is under consideration to become a national marine sanctuary um for more information um Go to anoa.gov um, and nautiluslive.org um, for more information. Your thoughts and your questions matter of why this region should be considered a marine sanctuary. So this is an exciting time. So hopefully um, when we recover the vehicles, we'll be able to launch again. So. Thanks for joining us. Spin it around. Can you get us moving ahead? Yeah. I will. I gotta get Bridge, Nav. Uh, uh, are we able to start tracking a line forward at 0 0.3 knots? Yeah, standby, though. Oh, standby, standby, Bridge. I gotta get out of the way or you're gonna run me over. <laughs> Will I slow down ascent? Boy, yeah. They need, they need time on deck anyway to get ready. Yeah. Yeah, we it's could we right. could just hang out, too. I just try and get out of the way here, and then we can start streaming. You want to hang out at five zero or? Yeah. Okay. Deck nav. Uh, we're at about eight zero meters now, but we'll hang out around five zero. Um, let us know when you're ready, uh, and I'll let you know when the captain's on the bridge.
Go ahead, Bridge. Roger, thank you. Just let us know when the captain's on the bridge. Uh, Roger, we're waiting on the captain on the bridge. So let's hang here at five zero. Okay, for, for those at home, uh, not to worry. So uh, so we have identified, uh, we think, the, the cause of the ground fault in our instrument. And uh, we have the tools here to to fix it. Uh, hopefully, it will be a short turnaround time and we'll be back in the water in no time. So uh, hold on and we'll update mm -hmm. you when we know a bit more. Okay, I'll stop at five zero meters. Roger. Deck, Van, we're uh, all stop at five zero meters. Deck, Van. All stop, five zero meters. Uh, we'll let you know when we start moving forward. Yes. Go ahead, Bridge. Copy, thank you. All stations, Captain on the bridge will proceed on channel one. Break, break. Deck nav, let us know when you're ready to proceed. To that, give us uh, one more minute. Copy.
camera horizontal. Aiming for the goalpost, I see. Always. I hate this. Yeah. That is not a good place to put that. Then we can change it. They uh, are keeping the crane on the this, the uh, ROV sled and it blocks the view out the back. I mean, we do have the other camera, but you know, I like having both usable. Go ahead, Deck. We are set down here. Are you guys ready for us to go ahead and proceed? Uh, affirmative. We'll bring the ship up to speed. Break, break. Uh, bridge. We can start tracking a line forward, 0 0.3 knots. Roger. Tracking line, 0 0.3. Okay. And Deck, please let us know when we're up to speed. Copy. Control one bridge, we have steady uh, speed forward. Deck copies. Fan copies and ready to proceed. So that bridge, bridge back deck, permission to go ahead and proceed. Deck bridge, Charlie. <laughs> this Charlie made <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> Confirm, Roger. <laughs> Charlie Roger. We already turned off the mezzo, right? Yep. Great. We should swap that uh, aft thruster on Atalanta. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alright, swap that up.
Atlantis thrusters are secure. Lights are off. Off. It's lights off. You turn off your depth sensor or something? Turn off the peril? Yeah, I turned off the power on. Yeah, turn the peril back on. So. Is the power given to Delta, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Without that, no Delta. Bridge, nav, reduce thrust to 25%, please. Roger. Reducing thrust to 25. Goal. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sharks. Where? There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oceanic white tips. Had a land of view. Nice. Oh, a lot of fish, too. Just hang out here. No need to go deep.
up to the port side pretty heavily here. Roger. Right. Right Better port than starboard. Yeah. Still not good. Uh, you can get the tether under the corner there. Great. We're going to hold position in a second, if that's okay. Well, as long as it doesn't get worse than it is. Yeah. Maybe we'll wait a little bit. What do you think? I think I don't like it going under the corner of the A-frame. Agreed. Uh, you want to move? Ahead. <laughs> ahead a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So I have no tension. Like got all yeah. kinds of slack. So. You want to do 0 0.3 again? Sure. Bridge, Nav. Can we uh, track forward 0 0.3 knots, please? Okay. Let them get Adelina set up too. Can you drive back or? I'm giving it all it's got. You got it all, okay. I'm hard over. Yeah. Hard that way over? I'm, I'm trying to drive that yeah. way. <laughs> See Dan's down there looking at the corner of the A frame. Yeah. Let me know when you're happy in a whole position. We could also step over. We could do what? Step over. Oh, uh, no, I don't think we need to do that. Kay. This looks like it's getting better. Yeah. No, they'll be, they'll be on the crane here soon. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get it. Mike, get the ratchet strap on. Yeah, we're looking much better now. Okay, so we can, uh, yeah. okay. Bridge, Nav, let's uh, increase the rest to 90% and hold position, please. Okay, roger. Hey, Deck Nav, you'll want to get a ground strap on Atalanta. There we go. Grab a glove. <laughs> it's not staying put very well. Continue iterating. Yeah.
A lot of thruster wash back there. Can we uh, turn the camera over so I can see what's going on? Power secured. Tech van, power secure. Roger, van, Hercules is out of the water. Copy. Sure is. Her conduct. 